in improving racial equity at New York City's specialized high schools. That is what parents, community leaders, and elected officials are focusing on as they announce a pilot program aimed at offering help to students of color. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez reports on how this was made possible thanks to a generous donation. Getting into one of New York City's nine specialized high schools involves a lot of hard work to pass the admissions test. Michelle Zhang knows firsthand. She's a freshman at Stuyvesant High School. Oh, yeah. I was in test prep for the SHCT for three years from when I was in fifth grade to the test. Zhang's parents spent thousands of dollars for her private tutoring, which many students living in majority minority neighborhoods can't afford. Members of education equity and community leaders rallying outside Stuyvesant High School say that's what keeps minority minority groups like blacks and Latinos from getting a seat at those prestigious schools. The group says Mayor de Blasio's initial effort to eliminate the admissions test altogether is not the answer to improve racial equity. Simply lowering the bar so more people can get in isn't the answer to our problem today. The answer to our problem today is to create a system, as I said, that finds talent early. Thanks to a seven-figure donation from business leader Richard Parsons and philanthropist Ronald Lauder, Education Equity launched a pilot program providing free test prep for hundreds of students of color. They want the city to get on board. I think it's a good idea because everyone deserves to have the same opportunities to get into schools like STI and Bronx Science and Staten Island Tech and stuff like that. The group is also pushing proposed legislation in Albany that would double the number of specialized high schools across the five boroughs. While students we spoke with are supportive of providing equal opportunities for their peers, they don't think adding more specialized high schools is a good idea. To have that many specialized high schools, it just means everyone can get into one. In the last year, the Department of Education spent more than $5 million on outreach, prep, and access to the specialized high school admissions test, but says it didn't increase diversity. In Lower Manhattan, Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News.